Hello friends, my name is Saeed Usai and in this part of the bus portation training course we are going to see how we can configure a bus portation retail here REP670 based on a real case project. First let's review the previous parts and then we start this session. In the previous part, first we explained different passport arrangements, single passport, double passport, and different passport architectures, and also uh, the advantages and disadvantages of each. After that, we explained the differential protection for the passport, different 3D manufacturers, we discussed the algorithms for the Siemens relay, ABB relays, we discussed it. After that, we simulated different fault cases in different parts of the bus bar, in the bus bars and also in the bus coupers, in the dead zones, to understand how a numerical digital differential relay works for different cases, to analyze the faults for the bus bar protection relay. And after that, we understood about the peak zones, zone interconnections in different relay manufacturers, how uh, they implement this zone interconnection and the uh, check zones. What are the differences? Why we need check zones? Why we need zone interconnections? And the uh, concepts about these two important topics in the differential protection relays. We discuss it with details. After that, we review the hardware structure of a uh, REV or REV 670 AV relays and also uh, the functionality, the function, the protection functions inside this relay related to the bus bar. We reviewed inputs, outputs, algorithm, parameters of different function blocks. And after understanding the function blocks, we configured a bus bar protection relay for a sample project based on the sample project SLD, simple SLD. We explained how we can config, how we can add SMAI, how we can add days, how we can config and uh, differential protection relay for a simple bus bar protection. We have started the configuration of this relay in the PCM600 from scratch without any pre-configured or template. We have started with an empty project to understand the concept of the configuration from the base. And now here we are going to review the SLD of the substation in a real case project after reviewing the SLD we should select the templates we will discuss about this template different templates in the ABB 670 RIP 670 here as you can see there are different templates how we can select any of this template we are going to discuss it in this session and for instance here A and B what does it mean A is for Three phase bus bar protection relay, and if we are going to use single bus bar protection, we should use the B templates. Yes, we are going to discuss this with details after uh, explaining the templates and some of the configuration of these templates. We will go for our case study project, we will select a proper template, and after that, we will see how we can modify the templates for the case study project. Okay, thank you for watching this part. Let's jump to the next session or SLD, reviewing the SLD and reviewing the REP670 templates. Have a good time. Stay tuned.